increasing costs and higher interest rates. It's hard to talk about the economy these days without thinking of one word, inflation. But while many countries around the world face very high inflation, in Switzerland, a small mountainous nation in Western Europe, the rise in prices has been much less dramatic. Inflation in Switzerland reached its highest level in 29 years, at 3.5% in 2022. Although still high by Swiss standards, it is well below double-digit inflation rates in other advanced economies such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Eurozone. So, what does the Swiss economy have that largely spared it from rampant inflation? And what can other countries learn from it? There are several elements in Switzerland's inflationary story. To start, prices in the country already begin from a high base. Switzerland is one of the wealthiest countries in the world, with a per capita GDP surpassing that of other major economies like the USA, Japan, and Germany. It is also home to some of the world's wealthiest citizens, with an average wealth of almost $700,000 per adult and a high cost of living to match. In 2022, Swiss city Zurich and Geneva remained among the top 10 most expensive cities in the world, even as inflation increased the cost of living in other expensive locations like Singapore, New York, and Tel Aviv. Tobias Strawman is a professor of modern and economic history at the University of Zurich. According to him, it's because people are, on average, quite wealthy. The share of food in the total family budget is not as significant as perhaps in other countries. There is inequality in Switzerland, of course, but from an international perspective, there is a very successful social policy. As a result, Swiss citizens are generally less impacted by rising prices because they tend to spend a smaller proportion of their income on essential items compared to discretionary items like vacations and hobbies, which can be reduced when prices rise. Another reason for the relative price stability in Switzerland comes from the strong Swiss franc. The country's currency has also consistently strengthened, increasing in value against the euro until reaching parity in 2022. While the U.S. dollar strengthened against many major currencies in 2022, the Swiss franc remained stable amid volatility in Europe. This is largely due to its status as a safe haven currency or defensive asset. The Swiss franc is strongly backed by a large reserve of gold, bonds, and financial assets, which helps the Swiss National Bank ensure currency stability during periods of volatility. It has always been a safe haven currency in times of crisis, and this began about 100 years ago, after the First World War. And of course, with the Russia-Ukraine war and COVID, the Swiss franc was again in high demand. The robustness of its currency is also beneficial to its economy, which is heavily dependent on international trade. In 2020, Switzerland imported about $300 billion in goods and services, most of which came from neighboring countries in the European Union. Therefore, a stronger Swiss franc provides an effective discount on these imports. In the same year, Switzerland exported a nearly equal amount. However, these tend to be higher value goods and services, such as watches and pharmaceutical products, which are less susceptible to price fluctuations than low margin commodities and mass production. Switzerland is also less exposed to some volatile external factors that raised prices in 2022, such as high oil and gas prices caused by the Russia Ukraine war. Home to about 1,500 lakes and numerous rivers, hydropower plays a key role in Switzerland's energy production. Hydropower accounts for more than a tenth of Switzerland's energy consumption, making the country less dependent on oil and gas imports than some of its European neighbors. Swiss energy suppliers are also largely publicly owned, which means they are less exposed to extreme market volatility through financial safety nets but are also subject to stricter price regulations. In Switzerland, there is significant state control over prices, which is somewhat surprising considering Switzerland is often thought of as a very liberal country. But in crucial areas such as energy and rent, there are many public controls. This means that the inflation rate extends over time. This doesn't mean there is no inflation, but it can help avoid a certain short-term effect. At the end of 2022, energy prices in Switzerland rose at a rate of 16.2%, below the levels faced by major counterparts like Germany, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and Italy. Switzerland's energy regulator now expects prices to rise another 27% in 2023, with the annual energy bill for a typical household exceeding 1,215 Swiss francs. Jean-Claude Huber is the manager of Hotel Pisben Klosters in eastern Switzerland. He mentioned that the standardization of long-term energy contracts protected businesses like his from rising costs in 2023. The dynamic pricing structure of the four-star hotel also means that Huber has been able to pass on price increases of about 5-10% to 10 to the consumer without harming demand. We can absorb this. We can play with the rates much more than if we had fixed rates all the time, and that helps us a lot. 
If you look at two or three star hotels, they will have much more trouble because these people are much more cost sensitive. Next to energy, Switzerland also imposes strict controls on the prices of goods and services, making them less susceptible to fluctuations caused by inflation. Of the key products used to measure inflation in the Eurozone, including food, housing, and transportation, nearly one-third is subject to price regulation in Switzerland, more than any other European country. High tariffs on certain agricultural imports also mean that domestically produced foods, such as milk and cheese, have preferential prices and are less impacted by movements in global food markets. We try to buy as much Swiss as possible, but even regionally, which really means bread, dairy products, and so on, buying them locally. In the long term, you want to have a local industry running, working. And you need farmers, so it's important that they can sell their products. In December 2022, food prices in Switzerland rose at an annualized rate of 4%. This compares to 11.9% in the USA, 16.9% in the UK, and 19.8% in Germany. In restaurants, food costs can be easily adjusted by increasing the cost of meals. All of this doesn't mean that Swiss consumers were completely immune to recent price increases, however. The Swiss central bank stated that it now expects inflation to fall to an average of 1.8% in 2024. Tell us in the comments what your opinion is on the Swiss economic model. Do you think it's a sustainable model? Share your opinion in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.